the biggest match of their lives by a long, long way. Well, the early leads don't mean a whole lot, even like a 4-1 at the first session. We've seen already in quarterfinals where that never held up. Or... Here we go on really, it's just the first stage of play, the first session, and even two, it's about finding your game, finding the targets, having the range. 65. Getting a bit of flow into your game, although these two are a bit more deliberate. Immense pressure on both of them. Make require 96. His finishing's been very good on these sorts of combinations. Yeah. That's his finishing throughout this tournament has been out of the top four. Yeah. Two big finishes here, both under pressure. If you like, the easier half to get through. And I think most people would have been looking at James Wade and Rob Cross. Yeah. There's number three. And I don't think Rob really capitulated in a major fashion. He only won one leg in the last seven of that match, but it was down more to, to Lukman being excellent. Well, interesting here, Mansell's hit eight 140s, no 180s. Lukeman hasn't hit a single 140 and three 180s. Oh, he's he's in fact, in that match against Robin, Lukeman had a, an imperfect nine dart game. Yeah, Phantom Nine, didn't he? Yeah. A nine darter in everything but. The record broke. Yeah, he had, a, he had a treble 20 fallout, so it was a 5-6-1-10 yeah. maybe, if yeah. you want to look at it that way. He won the leg in nine darts, put it that way. Needs the ball to break! Oh, wow! Now we've got a semi-final. Martin Lukeman from 3-0 down with back-to-back -back legs. He's hit three one eighties. Now he's walking off with a swagger, isn't he? Ansel just lost his radar a little. 43. Martin that, that'll happen, but it might be a little worrying that it's this early. Not left to finish either. Ninety-two. Superb leaves 32. It's all he needed to do. And it will be for a fourth consecutive leg job. Yeah, and which would lead to potentially a fifth consecutive oh, leg because he'll have throw next leg. Oh, Correct. He required 32. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, he's he's on leg. Martin. Just with a little grip now on this semi final. Remember, he was 4 yeah, 1 down against Rob Cross, wasn't he, before he produced some dazzlers to take control of the quarter final. When he isn't hitting, he doesn't look like he's trying, and this is a good visit. It's a little awkward, though. It doesn't matter. He has that first 180. And what great timing. He needed all of that to get to a finish. And the leg feels very important for him to hold his throw. Yeah. And confirming. I was right, John. He hadn't had a dart and a double since leg three. But he went 3 0 up. He has to go for this. Treble 19. Double. May look at treble 16. You know, Martin Lukeman's character. It's all about maybe taking these sorts of 170 outs, making the big time shots. He, I think he relishes these sorts of opportunities, Stuart. <laughs> Cabby. Wow. Yeah, he caught a lot of the dark. A yep. lot of the stem. But the point ended up nowhere near the travel, but there's so much contact on the on the barrel itself. Pressure on Mansell. Huge pressure on Mansell. Oh, well done. Yeah, you can see how much that means to Mickey Mansell because if he hadn't got that very strong. 
possibility that he would have been going 6-3 down. Good adjustment. Oh, good. Yeah, I love the way it not only adjusts, but to fire them in and just move the, the shoulder ever so slightly and fire those darts in with purpose. That was Thanks, the purpose. Davis. Oh, yeah. Two yeah. Yeah. in the leg. Oh, will he get a dart at double nine? Tops for Lukeman. Yeah. Yeah. Ten against yeah. Russia. Yeah. Semi final. The first semi final. Who's going to be the first man in to the final of the 2024 Grand Slam of Darts? Lukeman leaving 6 4. Leg five to pull within a leg again. And you see that standard, it hasn't varied much from high 90 sort of standard. Well, they one loop in the average now. Forty-three. And this is a an emphatic leg from Lukeman. Miles ahead of his opponent, and he's not Ooh, laying off the gas oh, at all yeah. after nine darts on a double. <laughs> That's fantastic. Possible ten darts here for Lukeman. These are practice darts for Mansell, nothing more. Well, you don't want to lose by 400 points or anything in a leg, really. It's discouraging. So that's good. He gets down under the 300 at least. Well, you need to hit this double eight. Yeah, there you go. You don't want to start getting in that comedy routine of missing doubles, and all of a sudden, the guy that was 400 points behind is getting a chance. Well, he doesn't have to go for a bowl or anything. Hey, he might go for a 25 here just to get it under 100. And he gets a bonus yep. down to 71. A bonus 25. A really good third dart there, just in case he gets his chance. To level the semi final. And from the Come back into it superbly, hasn't he? 15 leg, Mickey to throw first. Losing five yeah. consecutive legs. He was 5 3 down, Mickey Mansell. Martin will be urging himself to leave a really simple out shot, and he's doing that. Much better than his opponent now, Mickey. To hold throw, thinks he needs this. Just thinking about it. Well, after the first dart, as good as it possibly could have been from Mansell. And you have a feeling this is going to be at a bull now, and it is. Wow, right in this heart of the bullseye, Mark Lindman gets the break of throw, the opportunity, and a lead once again, where he'll be coming back to throw once he come back for the next break, but it's Lindman there with a little bit of a scene stealer. Well, the big 140 hitting guy here, He's, he was hoping he would do that to leave 101, but this is looking like not leaving any finish. 45. Oh, you require 161. So now it's a setup visit. Yeah. He doesn't have to take it out. He might like to, though. We'll see what he does. A ah, sensible. And I like that he didn't just go trouble 17 and then switch off of the out. Yeah. Oh, That's the way to do it. There's nothing else in his mind. And he's left 32 after 12 against the throw to re-establish a three-leg lead. And then we come to another pivotal leg before the final break of the semi-final. Martini required 32. And it has been a while since he's hit a double. Yeah, the 19 leg, Martin. 13 dart break. 13 leg, Martin to throw first. Not too bad off to still really have an opportunity to turn this match around.
43. Getting harder. 29. Yeah, it's feeling all the more slippery for Mickey Mansell right now, and Luke been right on it now. He's sensing it. 72 left for this start, so double 12 for a 1 2 9 out. He had so many options there. Chose the one which he fancied. Didn't need to do anything fancy. All he's got to do now is wrap it up in what he hopes will be back to back 13 dart legs to get ever closer to the final 55. of the Grand Slam. Double 12. Here it 24. Yes. And there it is, for the third time in this semi-final, there is a four-leg gap between Martin Lutman and Mickey Mansell, with all the Irishmen has it all to do. Capitulate here somehow, but uh, that can be funny at times as well. Numbers can lie. Took the gamble, didn't he? Wow, well, did he need that? Is there an answer to leave double 12? Wow. There it is. Huge pressure now on 83 for Mansell. Well, that's aggressive. Double nine to stay in it, you feel. Brilliant from Mansell. Sensational. 83 finish from Mickey Mansell. If he missed, just shy of three figures. Hang on. It's now. About three figures. Is there some magic in the air on this Sunday afternoon? There sure is. And, you know, we're, we're all hopeful for nines, but. We might not have to wait much longer. Wow, oh, what a response. Got <laughs> my data. He said six perfect darts. It looks like he could lose a leg. What a response from Mansell on his throw. Yeah, and he's been forced to be this good. Lupin's forced him back to, against the wall. He's going to have two darts for a double. The tops, yes, that was a courageous, courageous leg from Mickey Mansell. Fabulous 11 data. 18 180s now in this semi final. Trouble 16 would be a, a good one. Well, he produced an 11 data in the last leg. Some exquisite, exquisite finishing under pressure. Needs a treble though. Gets it. It's tops. Well, that would have been a first top plus finish. That was to get back within two. Will he get another opportunity? There we were. To dispose of Rob Cross in the quarterfinals. Oh. He's matching that in the semi-finals. His great mate is Richie Edhouse. What an inspiration. Edhouse, a few short weeks ago, from left field, winning the European Championship in Dortmund. Martin Lutman is so close hey, now to the oh, Grand Slam won. final. Hey, yeah, a chance here for a fourth leg in the match of 12 or better. Doesn't need to, of course. You keep your momentum towards the finish line going if you take it out here on this visit. Yes. Fabulous. 12 data. 100 average. He's yeah. one away from the final. He's feeling nervy, I assure you, because of what the moment means. But it's a much nicer pressure to have than the one that Mansell has. Easy. I think that was 60 on the floor. Let's have a look. Well, it, in one sense, at least he still has 130 left. He still has an out that he could look at and ex reasonably expect to hit. I think it was in the one. Actually, confirmation. 
70. Not too much damage done. Oh, How about the biggest out of the match? Right now. Match start. Ah, a ball! Oh, 105. Make you require 105. This would be something. And it's the sort of thing that if he got it, would really set up a comeback. I think it's just all a little too much now. 78. Martin here required 25. He's had the week of his darting life. Martin Lutman. Yes. It's a career defining moment for Martin Lutman. He qualified for the Grand Slam. He's the first qualifier to reach the Grand Slam final. Martin Lutman. He's living the dream. One figure, just as you... 100. If you're at all watching, Batenja Gary Anderson right now, you're up against the player. His last ten matches, he's had 900-plus averages. Seven of those 100-plus have been 105. That's the task Luke for Gary Anderson. But if anyone can match that, this year it is Gary. 55. Gary required 105. Well, there's a break back on here for Luke Littler to enhance those, frankly, ludicrous statistics. 94. Once again, the set of players absolutely beautiful with that last dart to leave tops. It's only going to be the one dart for Littler to go level. 32. Gary required right, now then, Anderson to double his money very, very early on in the pace. Anderson goes two up. What a difference a day makes at this stage yesterday after two legs. Luke Littler did 27 180s. We saw some long range bull hitting finishes from Luke Littler against Watamina, the highest being the 167. 98. Luke can require 130. He doesn't need to go for the ball should he hit the trouble 20 here, which he hasn't, so that's an all academic 85. argument. But a fabulous, fabulous last start. Get a little nervy if you can leave yourself a little two data, and that's exactly what Luke's got now to reduce the deficit. 45. Five for tops, no problem at all. That is 14 dart leg for Luke Littler, the last one of that mini session. He narrows the gap. It's still a session that Gary Anderson will have enjoyed. It was against the dart for the flying Scotsman, but he won it nonetheless. And Gary Anderson. Has the early edge against the teenage tornado. It's Anderson three, Littler two. Just a joy to see these two in full flow. 123. A lot of respect on that stage, though, Rod. Maybe it's just warm up to the, the game we expected. Treble 17. Double 18 to clear the 147. Luke requires 62. Double 14 will be the shot. Tops to lead this match yeah, for the first yeah, time. Yeah. Luke Littler. Luke Littler. Luke Littler. There's no dramas really, Glenn. It's still on throw, but it, it'll be painful this for Anderson. What was that last start? It came from behind the ears. 97. What's that all about? One of my darts, that. It's a magic trick, isn't it? 85, going to require 124. That's in. The 14 segment leaves the bullseye. Brilliant finish from Gary Anderson. A rapier repost. He's finding that target now. It was breathtaking to watch it last night. I thought I was watching a different sport to where I once played. But I just get the sense that Gary was it motivated him more. He said he watched it in the players' area. He knew what he was going to be up against. Three on the pin No one puts three in the triple 20 in closer proximity than Littler. 
Oh, apart from maybe Gary Anderson because they were very really close together too. This is sensational stuff. Four and eleven data tops. Consistency, the rhythm, what the belief is coming back into Luke Littler's game right now. Let's see something special, Luke. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. 99. Well, it's a surprise when he gets into that rhythm and flow when he misses the treble 20, to be quite frank. 24. And it was a surprise when he missed double 12 on two occasions in this tournament for a nine dart leg. Once against Ilagan and once last night. These are big moments for Luke Littler right now. 98. Let's fill it up now, Gary. He'll want to go at the break at 5 5. You don't want to give two legs away to this young prodigy. 100. Luke require 100. Well, Anderson took out the 1 2 4 to level at 4 each. Luke Littler is looking at double 11. Different yeah, route, sure. same outcome, two left lead. Luke Littler. The turbo in the second mini session and has pulled away from Anderson, who could do nothing about it. He had a 1 2 4, but that only stopped the tide very briefly. 107. The last seven legs for Luke Littler. And Gary Anderson, it's almost he's got to be immaculate throughout this game. You just sense he's got that 100. real eye of the tiger now. And this is what Gary Anderson's all about. One of the greatest throws, one of the great legends of the sport. He's finding something when he needs it most. Ninety-three. Gary required one hundred and fifty. No finish. But rare calm waters for Anderson here because. The Shark Littler is not circling close by. Anderson will be back for that 54. 168. Just a little reminder there from Luke. Anderson's got to get this tops and tens going. Game That's shot what he's all play. about. Gary he reduces Anderson. the deficit. Now can he break the throw? Remember, in these mini sessions. Anderson could do with his third maxi here. He doesn't want to move away from that, but just sort of wobbled a oh, little bit. It looks right. ideal, doesn't it? But that's a great camera angle just to see the flight almost covering the right hand section of that treble 20 bed. 100. Gary required 164. Right, he's created a chance, an outside chance, Gary Anderson. It's on here, treble 18. Oh, the bullseye. Yes, Gary, Gary Anderson. Sensational scenes as Anderson fights back. With a roof raising Ram Tusler of a finish, a 164, the highest of the match. And Gary Anderson's highest of the tournament. Yeah, there's no nerves in either of these players now. Now it's just focus, determination. Who wants it most? 131. Good bounce back ability here. From both. Needs to treble. Oh, he's unlucky, but it was a 70. tricky target, even for a Gary player of Luke Littler's caliber. He couldn't find it. Anderson, 142. This would take the roof off. Double 11. Oh, Gary, 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 Gary Anderson! What a finish. We've had a 1 6 4. We've had that last start on the double four, and then Bosch take that loop Littler. Gary Anderson goes up after the third break, leading eight legs for seven. And now he needs to get another leg on the board quickly. Well, Luke Littler started this match as a five to two on favourite. Anderson now is a fractional favourite with odds makers from nine seven up. Looking to make it even better, looking for another whopping 164, not this time. 132, Luke Ricard, state the obvious one more time. The setup means this has to go. Bullseye! 91. Well, it's Gary the 1 2 4 show 32. this afternoon. Luke Littler's had one, Anderson's had one, Littler's just missed the bullseye for another. Double 16. Game 
Another big car for Gary Anderson. Another big leg for Gary Anderson. And now he's three clear. a big fish he'd love one now one two for the bullseye for the biggest oh, fish of all look who's lurking he's been like a shark in this game he's picking up the scraps he's gonna get another dart a, a double Four clear. Anderson. Anderson irresistible Just wonder if that little miscount there from Gary to leave the 159. Is this the moment for Luke Littler? Can he reel the big fish in? We're so used to seeing him do so and then celebrate in trademark fashion by reeling the, in the imaginary fish. But he couldn't find it then. 55 left. Tops for Gary Anderson. 65. I tell you, he thought that was it. He was waiting for the referee to shout game shot. Will he be hearing that now? Bullseye! 97. Gary required 40. Gary Anderson in control. In command. He'd actually be feeling quite good now because if he could scrape another breaker throw, he's in a ridiculously good position. His next tension throw may be his first three darts in the next leg. 100. Right, we'll monitor that. 150. I think in some matches, Little would go three balls. This time he wants double 15. He can't find it. Gary required 161. Takes his time. He's going down the 19 routes. Not for me, that one. And Little. 99. Double 15. He likes this area of the board. The double 10. Wow. You talk about unorthodox finishing, but the desire to get to double 10 overrided everything. Gary Anderson's just been so clever, so cute this week, just managing his throws. He's effectively lost it here. Littler in legs. He now has to win. And in brilliant fashion. Oh, yes. Here we go again. We've seen this movie twice this week. Will the end scene be different? Will it feature the double 12? Come on, Luke. This time, the bid derails at dart seven rather than dart nine. But nonetheless, it's been a scintillating leg of darts on Luke Littler, an exceptional leg. He's left 50 after nine. Yeah, I think he had the luxury of enjoying the nine darters. This one, I guess, winning the legs more important oh, right now. Oh, this is madness. That's trouble 10, double 10. What's happening here? Proud involvement, what's happening? We're in the middle of a grand slam of dart semi final. He's losing, he's close to defeat, and he's pulling off treble 10, double 10 finishes. Good grief. The originality of Luke Little, the way he does his finishing, but Gary's been there. He's old school found the double three and now he finds the trouble 20 but he knows Littler will be coming back to look at casting the fishing rod into the deep waters again and he can't find the first treble can he find two treble 19s 96 but he'll take that Gary will start in the 19s on 265 but it's Littler who's pressuring the Anderson throw more than Anderson is on Littler right now 100 Okay. You can just see Luke looking around there when you heard that score of 100. He knows Gary's left a bogey for double 10. How many times does he hit this? 54. One fewer than you assumed, Glenn. Anderson can't finish. He'll hit it next time, won't he? Oh, my! Well, this exhibition start. It'll be cut short now, won't it? Luke Littler puts an end to that nonsense and holds to within one. Anderson enjoyed it. He'll enjoy it a lot more if he can get two more legs, but Luke Littler there was not in a mood for frivolity. Nor are we really that close to it, I don't think. Littler flying, Littler flowing. 
This is magical moments. Sheer brilliance from the pair of them. Sort of changed his mind last second there. What a difference that could be. 12. Bullseye. Luke Littler blazes wide. And Gary Anderson here. He's had 164, 142, 124, 102, 104. Will it slot in alongside? If it does, he's one away. Treble 19, it's still a way out. Not now. Tell you what, Luke just looked over his family. Just give me one opportunity. Listen to the crowd behind. I think that's even taken Luke by surprise. Is it'll it be, big five? It'll be five, yeah. It'll be five for double ten. He's a banker for this, you would feel. And he is a banker for that. Luke Littler catches in. And now it's all square. This is amazing now. 14 all. Anderson. And could go one up with two to play. This is more the Luke Littler we expected to see. Oh, he really has dug himself, dug himself out of the hole. Yeah, crucially, it's on the throw of Luke Littler as well. That 180 was needed. Can Gary Anderson find another treble? Whose position would you rather be? I still see Anderson. Well, Luke Littler, that 1-4-1 has been pesky this week at the back end of nine dart attempts. And it's pesky here towards the back end of the semi-final. And Gary Anderson is going to get two darts here to lead by one with two to play. This. Tops for Ando. Gary Anderson! It's one up with two to play against Luke Littler. He's got the darts in the 30th leg. If he holds through, it'll be the last leg. And Gary Anderson will reach his third Grand Slam of darts final. Oh, yes, just when he needed it most. He's found it. Wow. What a match. It did deliver. How we go in the distance, but again, the last start, Anderson. Unbelievable. Incredible. Help me with the superlative, Rob, help me. I think it's time to reach for the thesaurus. Luke Littler to tie it up and send us all the way. Double 16, double eight. Oh, and Gary Anderson has got a chance. That's all he wanted. One chance, he'll be saying. Just one dart and a double. Just one dart. Give me one dart. No finish now. That's not the dart he was looking for. He'll be disgusted with that. Did Luke you, Littler will be delighted. We just felt it was a match that was going to go the distance. Is that the missed opportunity for Gary Anderson? This. Double two. Luke Littler levels. Anderson regrets the missed opportunity. These two great dartists have gone toe to toe for 30 legs. There's one left, and Luke Littler has the darts. And what a start, and what a start! Pushed all the way by Dedeka, pushed all the way by Anderson. One last surge from the Nuke. What a surge. The power scoring, the pressure. The precision. 60. Absolutely dynamic, absorbing, breathtaking at times. And still, can you pick a winner? 135. Well, Littler's in complete control, but he's still going to ride it out from 261 down. Every treble is like ball dust right now. Gary, can he fill it up from here? That's the one. That was the Achilles heel on that setup. 77. These two thoroughbreds, Luke Littler has raised the gallop in this final furlong. Treble 17 would have left the bullseye for the match. And Anderson gets another chance. This time it's a real long range effort which will require two trebles with Littler waiting to book his ticket to the big dance. He can't finish. Luke Littler will be back. Ups and downs, the ebbs and flows of this match. This is your moment. Double 12. the final of the Grand Slam of Darts. He has come off the canvas with Gary Anderson threatening to turn back time and defy old father time in a match for the ages.
performance in the 80s for Liv Littler in those final legs.